airport was severely damaged and that the seaports were damaged and that they were trying to get ships to the port. Annette and Jessica Dean wanted something special for their 30th wedding anniversary and Annette's birthday. A trip to the islands sounded perfect, and it was until Hurricane Irma left a devastating calling card. I spoke with their daughter by phone earlier today. They weren't really sure when they would be able to get food and water to the island or start to get people off of the island. They believe they have enough water and food to last them through tomorrow. And so this is becoming a very stressful situation. The deans attend Bishop Bobby Hilton's church here in greater Cincinnati. It appears, he says, American tourists are being treated differently than others impacted by this storm. They've heard people come through and ask uh, who are Dutch, as if they're, you know, they're, the Dutch people are going to be rescued. But it seems that no one's come with too much concern about Americans, and there's about 200 Americans there. These are some of the pictures the Danes took of the damage. There was some hope earlier today that the couple would make it home on a flight late Saturday night. Those hopes were dashed late this afternoon. Unfortunately, that flight has been canceled. I just got word that that flight has been canceled. And I think the problem is we don't know the condition of the airport. The consulate said that'd be the first thing they try out to see how they can get the airport back up. So who knows the condition of the airport? But the flight that they had scheduled for tomorrow has already been canceled. Just imagine that, huh? Go there on a vacation and have something like this happen. One other point, Mr. Dean is a diabetic. That obviously creates other concerns. The resorts there, we're told, are challenged to help folks with medical issues and keep them as comfortable as possible until help arrives. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.